All right, guys. So, unfortunately, William and Ava, you guys missed this, but last week our Sunday school class made a matching game to go along with our lesson. And I was so glad to see you back today. That was fun. Um, so, have you ever played a matching game before? Do you guys know how it works? Yes. What do you do? You have to find a match, exactly, kind of like this. things that are different, very different, opposites, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like my faces here. I have a happy face and I have a, what's the opposite, a, a sad face. Yeah, a happy face and a sad face, opposites, right? Very different, not matches, right? Well, in the first book of the Bible, in Genesis, we hear Satan, the devil, tell Eve the opposite of what God has already told Adam and Eve. God told Adam and Eve that you may eat of any tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge and good and, of good and evil you must not eat, because the day that you eat of it you will surely die. Those were God's words. You may eat of any other tree in the garden, right? But Satan, the serpent, the devil said, you will not surely die. He said the opposite of what God said. And unfortunately, Eve listened, and she told her husband, and he listened to the devil, and they disobeyed God. God wanted them to obey him, but they did the opposite. They disobeyed. They sinned. And because of that, now we have a lot of opposites we have to deal with, too. Sin and all of these opposites. Well, St. Paul tells us in the book of Romans about some other opposites. He reminds us that because of Adam... There is sin in the world, but because of Jesus and his death on a cross and resurrection from the dead, God's given us a free gift, a free gift of grace, which includes forgiveness of our sins. So while Adam brought sin into the world, Jesus brought us forgiveness for our sins. And St. Paul also says that sin causes us to be condemned, and that just means we're guilty and we need to be punished. But... Because of Jesus, God's love for us through Jesus, he has made us right with God. We're no longer condemned. It's the opposite. Jesus has done the opposite for us. So St. Paul also talks about disobedience and obedience. Who do you think was obedient to God, Adam and Eve or Jesus? Jesus obeyed God the Father, our Heavenly Father, all the way to the cross. He did exactly what God wanted him to do so that the world could be saved. God himself sacrificed himself on the cross. Jesus, because we talked about that in Sunday school, he is God. Well, this devil is a tempter. He likes to tempt and he lies. But Jesus is faithful and he is truth. He tells the truth and he is truth. And one more opposite Adam and Eve sinned, and guess who else sins? We sin, don't we? No. <laughs> we wish we didn't sin, but we all sin, don't we, William? But Jesus never sinned. Never, ever. So we have lots of choices. We have lots of opposites we can choose from each day. And with God's help, we can choose to obey God rather than disobey. And that means we're choosing life with him rather than being separated from God forever. So let's pray. Can you fold your hands with me and say these words after Ms. Sean? Dear God, Dear God thank, you thank you for helping me, for helping me choose, to obey choose to obey and choose life, choose life in, Jesus. in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks for listening, guys. You may go back to your seats.